Hi everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another of my top 10 favorite countdowns. And this countdown is my top 10 favorite wild animals. For those of you that know me outside of social media, animals are one of my favorite things in the world and I'm sure many of you in the social media know this as that is one of the things that I list on things I love or interests. Now there are many 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 animals out there that I absolutely love but these are my top 10 favorite wild animals. Number 10 is hawks. I really like hawks. Um, they're beautiful, they're majestic. They range in size from very small to very big. They have a lot of mysticism around them. It's a lot of native cultures see them as spiritual and there, there's just something about them um, you can see them almost anywhere there are wild animals with the exception of of course the Arctic um, and they are just beautiful wonderful birds and I just absolutely love them Number nine is coyotes. I really, really love coyotes. Basically any canid, really. Um, I absolutely love, um, mostly because of the whole family unit. They are very, very family orientated. Um, males and females will mate for life um, and take care and take turns taking care of the cubs or pups or whatever you want to call them and some live in big family groups or just you know single family groups and coyotes are also one of the things I love about coyotes is that they are survivors they can live in as comfortably in the city as they can in the country as long as they can find food they can find they can um live extremely com comfortably um they're also much like hawks a lot of native cultures um native american cultures um revere the coyote um coyote is actually a trickster god in one tribal culture, I can't think of the name of the tribe of the tribe that revere or tribe or tribes that revere um the trickster god coyote. Uh if you know, let me know in the comment section. Um and they are, they're extremely smart, as extremely intelligent animals, and I just really, really like them. Actually, my mom and I two weeks ago actually saw two coyotes, um near our church, um, which was really amazing. I, I mean, I thought they were German Shepherds at first until I actually got a good look at them from the car and saw that they were coyotes. Um, but that was really um, ama an amazing sight to see. Number eight is leopards. I like leopards. I, leopard print is one of my favorite patterns for clothes, just, but not the fur, just the print. Um, leopards, like most cats, with the exception of lions, are very solitary. Um, usually if you see them together, it's a courting pair or a mom and her cubs. Um, but I still do love leopards. I love cats, so the fact that, le that leopards are cats is a big Thing, probably a big contributor, but I do like them. They're not the biggest of the big cat. I think they actually come in behind um, lions and tigers in that aspect. 
but they're not the smallest of the wild cats either. There are some that are smaller, but I do like them. Um, I used to watch this show called Big Cat Diary, which followed um, Family of Lions, um, two, uh, two or three families of cheetahs, and a couple of leopard families. Um, and it's just amazing to see how they lived in the wild. And of the three big African cats, the lions, the cheetahs, and the leopards, the leopards are the most comfortable up in the trees, um, as you can see from the picture. Um, and I apologize if any of the pictures are blurry. Unfortunately, when I stretch them out after copying them from the internet, they that just kind of happened. Um, so, okay, leopards made number eight. Number seven, whales. I love whales. Uh, any kind of whale um, from orcas, like what are depicted here, to blue whales, which are the biggest of the whale family. I absolutely love them. I uh, actually saw some whales well over 10 years ago on a vacation where we actually went whale watching, um, which was really neat. They were humpbacks. And it was, you know, I just love, I just loved seeing them. And I love whales. I went to um, SeaWorld when I was a kid and I liked seeing the whales perform. Um, like Free Willy. Uh, I like Whale Wars. Uh, I just, I really love whales, and they are just um, amazing creatures. They, they eat any, they range from eating fish like and seals, and penguins like um, the orca you see pictured here, to eating tiny little microorganisms known as plankton. Now, of course, orcas won't eat plankton; they'll eat fish and seals and penguins and it's actually the biggest whales the humpbacks and the blue whales that actually eat the plankton which i find kind of interesting the biggest animals on the planet actually eat the tiniest animals on the planet which is kind of interesting number six is lions i love lions lions are probably the only social cat on the planet, um, as they do live in prides that are made up of related females, their cubs, and whatever males happen to be in control at the time. Now, part of the reason why I probably love lions is that The Lion King is one of my favorite movies and favorite franchises. But again, I just really, really also just love them Aside from The Lion King being one of my favorite movies, um, much like with hawks and coyotes, they are they were um, seen as very special. Um, mostly in ancient Egypt, they were revered um, as very special creatures. Um, many statues in um, many of the pharaoh's palaces depicted a lion to some degree or another. One of Egypt's most revered gods was a lion or was depicted with a lion head. Um, so they are extremely amazing creatures um, or animals, cats, whatever you want to call them. And I think what endears us to the lion in particular is the male with his big, handsome mane. Um, it's no wonder that, you know, they're referred to as the king of the jungle um, because the males actually do look very ma um, majestic with that big mane. Number five is cheetahs. I really, really, really love cheetahs. They are not 
your typical big cat. I mean, when you think big cat, you think big, bulking cats like lions, tigers, leopards, um, jaguars. Um, and the cheetah is actually the exact opposite. It's somewhat sm on the small side. It's very, very skinny, and it's got very, very long legs, and it's actually very, very fragile. Um, but it is the fastest of the big cats. Um, it can't, it's not a marathon runner by any means. There are animals out there that are faster than it. Um, but it is very fast at sprinting. It just can't handle tight turns very well. Um, and I absolutely love them. They actually, unlike leopards and jaguars who have rings or rosettes, as their spot palette, leopards actually have spots. They have polka dots and they have tear stains on their face from the corner of their eye to the corner of their mouth. And that's actually used to deflect the sun away from their eyes. Um, athletes do that too with, um, with grease. Um, but the cheetah ha has it naturally. And also, um, fun fact about cheetahs, their claws do not retract. They are probably the only fe feline or member of the feline family or cat family whose, tra whose claws do not retract. Their claws are actually very worn down. They can't use them to claw at anything as they are worn down much like a dog's claw. But they do use their claws for a very unique purpose. Um, purpose. They are used to grip the ground while the cheetah is running, much like the cleats on track shoes or um, football shoes or you know any any shoes where you need when you uh, any sports shoe where you need to have a good grip because you're going to because you're not necessarily going to be on ground that will be slippery. Number four is otters. This includes both sea otters and river otters. I love otters. They may look like weasels, but I think that's because they actually do share a common ancestor. But one of the main reasons why I love otters is that they are just so darn cute. They are just really, really adorable. I mean, you look at an otter, even an adult otter, and it's just the probably one of the cutest things you're ever going to see. They're also extremely playful. Um, otters are just clowns. They, even in the wild, they love to play. And I just love watching them on nature documentaries, just playing and being the little goofballs that they are. And they're just so cute and so adorable. And um, they're actually very smart as well. They figured out how to get into um, the shells of the shellfish they like to eat, the clams and the abalones and whatnot. And what they'll do is they'll actually take a rock and they'll smash the rock against the shell until the shell breaks and then they'll just take the meat out. And a lot of times they will keep that rock and use it over and over again and even pass it on to their pups. I think I actually read an article online about that, um, which I actually found extremely interesting. Okay, number three is wolves. I love wolves. Wolves are, when you think of a group of wild canids, wolves are probably the first thing that pop into your head because they are very iconic for living in packs. You very rarely see just two wolves living together where you'll probably see like two um, foxes living together or two jackals or two um, coyotes with their pups. You'll see many wolves living together that aren't necessarily related to each other and they're led by an alpha male and female. And 
I think one of the reasons why I like Wolves is because some of my favorite books to read um, are paranormal romance books, and a lot of the paranormal romance books I read are about werewolves. So I think that might be why I like Wolves a little, why Wolves are one of my favorite animals. Um, but again, I also do just plain like them. They are actually very beautiful. Um, it, when you see them, the markings are just amazing and beautiful. And just seeing them out in the wild, whether you're actually seeing them on TV or actually do see them in the wild, is um, amazing. And I just absolutely love them. Number two is dolphins. I love dolphins. I've loved dolphins ever since I first saw Flipper. Um, the TV show, not the movie. Um, and dolphins are extremely intelligent. They are one of the top three smartest animals on the planet, including humans into that mix, of course. Um, their brain is actually, I think, think about the same size as ours and they are well known for a form of tracking known as echolocation where they send out sound waves and the sound waves will bounce off an object and come back and the dolphin can create a picture in its head of what it is. Now they're not the only animal to do that. Whales do it, um, some insects do it, bats do it. Um, but the dolphin is the most well-known animal for this. And they're also extremely smart. There are... I saw this on TV, and there is this group of dolphins. I think they're in Africa or India or South America or something. Um, these are wild dolphins, so keep in mind. But they actually work with the people um, and bring in, they'll corral in the fish and the people will just throw their nets out and bring in the fish and then they will toss the dolphins their share of the catch. And it's like, it's extremely amazing that a wild animal does this. I mean, how many wild animals do you know of that um, actively work with people like that? And they're just amazing creatures. And again, like like um, otters, they're extremely playful as well. Dolphins are very well known for um, being extremely playful too. And my number one favorite animal or wild animal is the tiger. I absolutely love tigers. Um, the tan-coated tiger, like the one you see here, white tigers, the rare black tiger... I, I love all of them. And yes, there is such a thing as a black tiger. It's just extremely rare. There's also such a thing as a blue tiger. Uh, it's just far more rare than a black tiger. Um, and there's also a rare type of tiger called a snow tiger, which is basically a white tiger with no stripes. Um, I just... I can't even tell you why I love tigers. I just love them. They are just these big, beautiful cats. I think they're actually slightly bigger than a lion. Um, am amazing creatures. They have vast territories in India. Sadly, there are not a lot of them left in the wild. Um, they are very well revered in Chinese mythology as well as, I believe, Indian mythology. Um, and they are, in fact... Um, so revered in Chinese mythology that they actually have a whole year every 12 years dedicated to them. Uh, now, unfortunately, the year of the tiger is not the year, or not my year, I am the year of the dog, but I still love tigers. Um, and they're just these amazing, powerful creatures, and I just absolutely love them. They're my Number one favorite wild animal, possibly my number one favorite animal. Okay, feel free to check out my other top favorite videos. Um, also, feel free to um, leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. 
and please like and share this video if you are watching on Facebook or like and subscribe if you are watching on YouTube. And feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and DivianArt. I do have my names for those by foresight to write there on the screen, as well as the pictures that I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video belong to their respective artists. I own absolutely nothing. Also, just so you know, I do take requests. So if you have any suggestions for my next top favorite video, please let me know. And if I can come up with five or ten slots for it, I'll do a video on it. Okay, also feel free to check out my top favorite special edition videos. Hey, also feel free to check out my other videos. A quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, before I sign off, two things I'd like to touch on. First off, please note that my Movie Talk birthday special edition video on The Lion King and my Movie Talk videos on Ben Helsing, Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters, and Spooky Buddies are exclusively on my Facebook page. I am going to do re-uploads of them, but they will not be for um, YouTube, but they will not be posted until October. Reason being... Um, the Lion King is a birthday special edition video, so it only makes sense to me to re-upload that video in October, or on my birthday, which is in October. Um, as for the other three, Van Helsing and Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters are Halloween-ish movies, and Spooky Buddies is is a Halloween movie, so again, it just makes more sense to me to do the re-uploads in October. So be patient, I will get those re-uploaded to YouTube, it's just going to take a little while. Until then, you can feel free to check them out on my Facebook page, I will have the link in the description section. Also, due to the fact that YouTube is considering it to be spam, my TV Talk videos are now exclusively on my Facebook page. And feel free to check those out anytime you wish. Um, and just to make it a little easier on you guys, here is a list of TV shows I've either done TV Talk videos on or I'm currently doing TV Talk videos on. Uh, please note that Dragons Riders of Burke are all on YouTube. And the early videos of Big O, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Agent Carter, 
Touched by an Angel, Walker, Texas Ranger, and Dragon's Defenders of Berg are also on YouTube, as is the very first TV talk video on Game of Thrones. Now, as for Avatar and Avatar The Last Airbender and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., those are exclusively on Facebook. So feel free to check them out if you'd like to. Uh, again, my Facebook link, or a link to my Facebook page will be in the description section. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.